Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. In an incredible discovery, archaeologists have discovered the largest prehistoric site ever found in Britain and it's right next to Stonehenge. Archaeologists have found a ring of prehistoric shafts dug thousands of years ago that is 1.2 miles or 2 kilometers wide, with a huge stone circle of Durrington Walls in the center. Durrington Walls is located just 2 miles away from Stonehenge. The large shafts are 10 meters in diameter and 5 meters deep. Testing shows they are Neolithic in age and they were dug more than 4,500 years ago. As this diagram shows, they are huge. More than 20 of these shafts have been discovered and experts believe they may have once served as a boundary to a sacred area connected to the central henge monument of Durrington Walls. The team of experts from the Universities of St Andrews, Birmingham, Warwick, Glasgow and the University of Wales Trinity St David are working on this huge and important project. Stonehenge may be the focal point of the region today, but as this diagram shows, Durrington Walls was the true focal point of the Stonehenge landscape. Interestingly, the enormous Greater Curtis Monument ends close to the edge of this 1.2 mile wide circle, but this Curtis Monument is significantly older. Talking to the media, Dr Richard Bates from St Andrews School of Earth and Environmental Sciences said, Remote sensing and careful sampling is giving us an insight to the past that shows an even more complex society than we could ever imagine. He continues, Clearly sophisticated practices demonstrate that the people were so in tune with natural events to an extent that we can barely conceive in the modern world. Tim Kinnard, a colleague of Dr Bates, said that the sediments from the shafts that were tested contain a rich and fascinating archive of previously unknown environmental information, and the finds are allowing archaeologists to write detailed narratives of the Stonehenge landscape for the past 4,000 years. This truly is an astonishing discovery, and interestingly, a large causewayed enclosure lies on the perimeter of this giant circle. There are a number of trains of thought as to what causeway enclosures were, but they could be centres of administration for local populations. They could also be trading centres, settlements, defensive constructions, communal meeting points for feasts or rituals, or maybe even burial sites. In my research, I tend to think they're administration centres, like a primitive town hall, where meetings took place, decisions were made, and also where trade with neighbouring settlements took place. Being on the edge of the larger circle may also mean that causeway enclosures acted as entrances to a larger settlement. Interestingly, the northwest and southeastern entrances into Durrington Walls line up perfectly with Lark Hill causeway enclosure. And, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a pathway from the enclosure right into the centre of the circle. We know that Durrington Walls was a place where people lived and feasted, as shown by the archaeological excavations that have taken place. And being at the heart of a huge circle means it looks as though it is the key to understanding the Stonehenge landscape. Constructing something of this size, with careful positioning of the huge pits, also shows us that the early inhabitants of Britain would have had to have developed a way to make it. A way of counting and calculating the position of each shaft over a large area. No, it's not a perfect circle, but for 4,500 years ago it's pretty accurate, especially the northern half. It is an unprecedented find of major significance, and although more than 20 shafts have been found, there are likely to have been around 30, but due to modern developments, a number of them are unable to be found. The size, scale and complexity of the find is unique and clearly demonstrates the significance of Durrington Wall's Henge. These people would have had to have dug the 10 metre wide and 5 metre deep pits with tools of stone, wood and bone, which again is an incredible feat, and together with the achievement of Stonehenge itself, with the blue stones being brought from Wales and the huge upright trilithon set in place, the new find shows that our Neolithic ancestors were more organised and more intelligent than we often give them credit for. 
we know that Stonehenge and its stones have astronomical significance for marking solstices, so now there is work to be done to see if the pits and their relationship to Durrington walls and the wider Stonehenge landscape also have astronomical alignments, or whether they are just some kind of boundary. In my own early opinion, which isn't based on any data, it's just simply more of an idea, I think they could be boundary ditches. Maybe defensive, but I don't know. To be effective defences, I'd need to understand the Neolithic environment. Were there trees between them, pathways, wooden defensive walls, earthen banks or nothing at all? Interpretation is so difficult, but I love the way our minds can wonder with new discoveries. The discoveries are thanks to geophysical prospection, ground penetrating radar and magnetometry, which revealed the size and significance. Tens of kilometres of landscape have been surveyed right across the Salisbury Plain, and when the experts joined the dots, this huge pattern emerged. The shafts were cored, which provided radiocarbon dates to more than 4,500 years ago, meaning they were dug at the same time that the largest stones were added to the older bank and ditch of Stonehenge, and at the same time as when Durrington Walls was built. But interestingly, Lark Hill Causeway enclosure predates the circle by more than 1,500 years, as does the Greater Cursus Monument. So, although the summer solstice celebration at Stonehenge was cancelled, it seems we got something even better. A major discovery in one of the world's most famous ancient landscapes. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, Please like the video and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.